oyster sauce and garlic salt. In addition to that, we have a honey hoisin sauce. Okay, this is known as the uh, red bean cake. Okay. Now we'll put them all in there and then it, the, the quantity depends on the, the amount of uh, chicken we got. So, the red bean mashed together right there. Now the hoisin sauce. Oyster sauce. Now it depends how 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 you cook it or whatever. You need it for that. A little bit of garlic salt. Yeah, I'm I'm it will be. Mix them all up a little bit. And now some honey. Yep. Approximate quantity. And then lastly, we put a little bit of olive oil in there. So. Okay, this will all be mixed together, and that would be the marinade. marinade. Now we start the marinating process, preferably about two or three hours ahead of time. Actually, the longer it is, the better it is. There you go. A little, little dapple dapple all over the place. And just evenly brush them all over the place. You can use a brush, but it will waste the brush. brush. Yeah, we we'll just use a spoon. Spoon. So that's about, um, after we've done all that, we'll just put it away for about two or three hours. Three hours probably. And that's going to be really tasty after we roast it. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. There you go. That's the last piece. Or even up some of the other ones we are right now. There it is. When the finished product looks something like this, that's how we do it. Now we kind of uh, cover it with aluminum foil, just just for now. Actually, when we uh, start the roasting it, uh, in the summer we will put it in the refrigerator. But now it's kind of like uh, cool, so we don't have to put it in the refrigerator. Just leave it out here. Until well, we are roasting, we'll take the aluminum foil off when we do that.